to have the ladies with me. Why get in the building? Yo, 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 yo. How are you doing? Good to I'm see fine, you. I'm fine, I'm fine. My material is to the Asherebi of um, Victor Olauto. I don't know if you know him. He was an actor. He used to oh, be yeah. lead actor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so he, 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 sometime. Yeah, cool. he passed away recently. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So he, the burial was yesterday. But my tailor didn't have my outfit ready. <laughs> so I said I will wear it today oh. to honor him. Oh. Yeah. So I'm um, honoring him today. May yeah. he so rest in peace. Amen. And um, all my ladies here, they all ate rice this morning. <laughs> That's my like butter. I don't take it. Nah, I should take it from you. Oh, yeah, continue. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing amazing. Yeah, wake up has been good to us this lately. Day, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the other day we had um, oha soup. And today they give us rice with, uh, is it curry rice? Yeah, turmeric rice. Turmeric rice oh, and the goosey ah, sauce. Yes. Because it was not Fish. done with palm oil, but mm. it really tasted nice. Mm. I need to find the recipe of that. Very nice. You know, yeah. and do it. So um, I'm full this morning. I'm okay. I'm relaxed. Mm. I'm going to enjoy the show as best as I can because I have eaten breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Mariam? I'm doing fine. I love Thank the brooch. Thank you, very brooches. Very there are three oh, of them. Have you got yeah, this is really... So I just put them all together. Wow. I, I love She's Miriam's um, her so, earrings, um, her neck things. You. I just thank love... She likes you. to combine. Thank you. I, I love just her like, you style. You know, I like her own jewelry too. I love her style. Well, have you seen Morel's style lately? I mean, I was looking at you yesterday. I was like, "Whoa, the what's dress? happening?" Yes. Yeah. But Mokos before like then, you know, you are ticket. I mean, she's been yeah. doing amazing her yeah. style work. Yeah. Anyways, um, I must give credit to Cotton Couture. Okay, they for yesterday. Me that, they, yeah, they gave me the outfit yesterday. Really? I need to really post it, but I forgot to take a picture again. So I'll wear it. I'll wear it again. It was just it was a horrible day. I'll yesterday. take yeah. the show. Yeah, I'll take try, a clip. Yes, yes, yeah. and, and, and tag them. Yes. Yes, you're going to do something. Yes, just that I'm doing great and amazing. And, uh, you know, something happened over the week. My son, he celebrated his birthday in school, right? And I had this outfit I wanted him to wear. He insisted on wearing outfits that he's worn so many times, but they're like his favorite. And I remember how badly I felt like, why would he you know, dress like that? It really bothered me. Yeah. I didn't want him to make his, the decision. And then, you know, we've talked here about having control over your children and letting mm. the control go. On. And I was saying to myself, I cannot even let control off what yeah. he'll wear. Yeah. It's when he grows older that. So yeah. that reminded me and... Um, I wanted, I said that you share it so that parents, you know, in those little things, we remember that that's how we let go of control. Mm -hmm. That's how we hold Grand on right. to no, our It happened children. to me yeah. not long because uh, there was a birthday party. My kids had to go. And Elizabeth wanted to wear these really tattered shoes. I mean, she loves those shoes. And I'm like, you can't wear this to a party. She said, no, this is what I want to wear. Yeah. And she gave me... And kids are like that. So I was like, come on, man, this is embarrassing. <laughs> so yes. I didn't buy you new shoes. Yes. No, what you would do is you carry the one that you wanted her to wear. <laughs> she wears it. She has shoes. Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> that, that's what I would do. Nikki. I, 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 because I, my daughter, she did show for me. But that reminds me. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow is Imran's birthday. Yes. yes. Happy birthday to Imran. That's, 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 that's Imran's son. son. Our mm -hmm. engineer. He's five years old. He's five, five years old. Wow. I mean, so, He's so. a your view baby. Yeah. He's a your view baby. Yes. You know, so I feel very attached to him yeah. because yeah. he was <laughs> born... You know, you know, you know she was pregnant when she had to leave the show. Uh, Even uh, Morayo and the we twins are... Yes, uh, yes. Uh, uh, uh. yes, we have to go and visit the hospital yeah. to check up on her, you know. Mm. Yes, uh, uh, I think we should get pregnant. Okay, so so we have, yeah. It's your too late for me. I, well. come hey, I have, your, I have your, view, your view grandchildren. <laughs> I have your view. I can have grandchildren. We need your view My grandson has left home. Yes, I told you. Where did he go? He went with my friend to his friend's house yesterday. That's how he has said he's not going home. Oh. This is his new house. Oh. <laughs> Save me the rest. Oh, that boy. He wants he to play with kids. He's, he's, he's missing you, I'm sure. Yes. Yes. And he wants to play with children, children his age. Yes. That's what's yes. happening. It's the weekend. There's so much ahead of us. Let's go on a quick break. When we return, we look at the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start with the nation. Lagos Rivers asked court to stop VAT revenue sharing. Lagos says, okay, someone lose actions on VAT and open grazing. Court cases threaten PDP convention outcome. Professor Ibiemi Olatunji um, Bello is Lasso VC. And uh, resident doctors shun government proposals. Air Force probes accidental killings of nine. And how we killed Senator's son, sold his car for a millionaire. Which story are we taking? Let's start with um, BC. 
Okay, yes, you. Oh, did you have that, sorry? You can go on. Oh. I have it, but you can't. Because right, I have another one in the nation. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Um, he, they said they were passing the car, the, the house, and they saw the car, and they said, ah, that car is their own. Mm. So they came back, I think, at night. They climbed, they took the tiles off the roof, and then they went inside to get the keys. It was dark, they had a torch. So that torch alerted the boy, the mm -hmm. senator's Captain, son. Yeah. And he just came out, as he came out, they just, they kind of strangled him, they tied him up till they said there was no voice again. Mm -hmm. And they took the car, sold it for one million. Just yeah. one million. In Nigeria, in Niger Niger. Republic. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so they are yeah. still, I think one of them, they've caught two of them, so one of them is still one of them is on at the large. Line. But I wanted to take the Nigerian Air Force story. <clears throat> so uh, we took, uh, mm, we know that about um, 10 people were killed, while over 20 others were hospitalized when the Nigerian Air Force were carrying out their raid against uh, Boko Haram. So initially they had come out to say that uh, the Nigerian Air Force was not involved in this, but after investigations they realized that it was a mistake on their own part and they were able to, that made them kill those innocent Nigerians. So they are apologizing and they are, you know, promising to uh, carry out more investigations and take care of the families of the people who have lost lives, basically. Yeah, so resident doctors also have had a, had a meeting with the federal government <coughs> um, side and um, to talk about, you know, a way forward, an out-of-court settlement. That's what actually the court had asked them to do before the court case. And he said after three hours of back and forth, they came to no agreement. And so um, the resident doctors are saying that they wait for the court. So mm. that's where we are now. All right, Many more weeks <coughs> strike. Right. Congratulations to Professor Ibiemi Olatunji Bello. She was, uh, she's now the substantive professor. Um, uh, um, she's the vice chancellor of the unit of Lasso, and I think it was announced yesterday, I believe. Uh, if, you, if you recall, she's um, assumed duty as the first professor of, of psych physiology in Lasso College of Medicine back in October 2007. Um, she's also <coughs> She, she rose to the associate professor in 2005 as a college, at the College of Medicine, University of Lagos. And she's, she, I mean, when, when I went through her CV, I was quite impressed about mm. how far she's come as a professor and as a woman. Uh, so I think it's well-deserving, and we'd mm. like to say congratulations to her. Yes, congratulations. And many more um, happy years ahead for her. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah, I like Always it when we mention this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm. People are trying to cloud it because she's the wife of the commissioner, but the truth is that she is qualified. She's qualified, mm. yes. Over, over qualified, safe. Mm. Mm. Let's move on to the punch. <coughs> FG to spend $4.9 billion fresh loans on Kano Niger Republic um, rail lines. Professor Wally Schenker says, mathematics saved me from insanity during 27 months detention. I felt dizzy in Villa back to work, EFCC chairman says. <coughs> Cholera spread in Abel Kuta and one died 17 hospitalized. Urban nation agitators, charlatans, extorting people, says Bankoli. <coughs> Excuse me. Group fighting TB Joshua's wife over secession. Our faceless says go on. Top soldiers killed three gun trucks seized in Borno terror ambush. It won th 186,000 Nigerian refugees in Niger and Chad says UNHCR. A sub attacks by Jabia Mila for calling secession agitators terrorists. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do a um, sub. So that's the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. On Thursday, they condemned the statements credited to the Speaker, uh, House of Representatives, uh, Mr. Femi Wajabi Amila. You know, he compared the Yoruba Nation agitators and um, IPOB, uh, saying that they are not different from Iswap and Boko Haram. So the leader of Masop is saying that how can you, a lawyer who is supposed to know better, make such an unfortunate statement mm -hmm. that it is too low of you to have such an unreasonable and inconsequential comment? And he said, so as a lawyer, you're supposed to know the difference between self-determination and terrorism. And so they are asking that he be taken to a psychiatric um, uh -uh. Uh, to check, to be sure that he's uh, okay. And because you can't just compare people who are fighting for freedom to people who are <coughs> kidnapping, you know, killing, abducting. Like yes, right. that those are, they are two different things. And they need to check if it's okay to be making okay. that statement. So the, the, okay, you want to take one? Take one. Okay, so um, cholera in Abelkuta. Uh, they say one person has died and 17 others have been hospitalized in um, Abelkuta. And this is also 
on the back of about 25 people who have died in another community, or what they look in um, Magburu community, you know, Bafemi, you know, in um, what they look at government of Ogun State as well. So the World Health Organization is saying that their team is storming this community, fumigating, and also advising Nigerians. Like, first of all, um, these um, World Health Organizations <coughs> going to like densely populated areas. Mm. But talking to people also, we need to pay attention to our hygiene. And it says that the reason why cholera is fast spreading in this densely populated area, the numbers, and then everyone is so close to each other, okay. you know, the houses and everything. Mm. Those are the reasons why they're spread. It's sad because we've been talking about this cholera. It just keeps moving from place to place, yeah. and the wow. casualties are quite high. When I was young, there was cholera. Now, I'm surprised that now it's coming it again. Mm. up again, you know? But, but you're going to take the, a story. Yeah, the um, global, the synagogue, what they call all, oh, yes. synagogue yes. church of all nations, yes. are attacking Actually, another group who claim to be um, the global congress. Yeah. Right? They are not, they are faceless, they don't know them. They've never seen them before. They are coming to say TB Joshua's wife is not uh, qualified, or, qualified mm -hmm. to be the head. That no, that they are. That in fact they are, they belong to the group that was chopping money when the man died. Mm -hmm. That they were embezzling money, and then she now caught them, ah. and so that's why they are attacking her. That's what they are saying. Yes. That's what they are. Okay, so the I was going to take the major are, major headline because. Um, our, our president is asking for more money, $4.9 billion fresh loan, <gasps> to have the Kano Niger Republic rail line. And uh, interestingly, um, it was approved, and Senator Ndume was questioning why it was, so, it was approved quickly. He was saying that it is worrisome mm. how these bills are, are, are being, loans. Uh, these loans actually are being uh, approved by the, by the National Assembly so, so quickly. Fast. So fast. And um, they're worried because these loans are not likely to generate revenue for the country and mm. doesn't put us more in debt. Mm. So he's saying Shouldn't that... Shouldn't they have um, questions? He even said... He asked will, for more will, details? He even said that the, the, a lot of the lo loans that they have approved have not even mm. been given to them. They haven't received those they loans. Don't. So why, what was the rush? But the president is saying that we need to increase trade relationship with North, Northern Africa... Niger and other surrounding countries within the north. And it's a question Will that it generate why? revenue for us? So I'm, I'm sure they expect it to generate revenue, but how soon can we pay the loan? That's even the most important thing. Mm. Yes, generate revenue. How long will it begin to generate mm. revenue? How do we pay the loans back? And that's one of the things that Senator Ndume is quite worried about mm. um, of our loans. Okay, let me and move he's on. He's APC, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, I can't remember which party they are. Party politics. Everyone that everybody's cross capitalizing these days. I've they have seen. to go and check again to be sure. Okay, where, where are you party? today? Today, mm. yes. Where are you today? That's how. So when you ask which where party are they, they have to go and cross check. <laughs> yeah, are we done with punch? Yes, sure there's another story. So, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I think more than eighty-six thousand. Yeah. Yes, so yeah, we have. Um, okay. I think it was um, detailed given by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugee in Geneva. And they are saying that um, the number of Nigerian refugees in Niger Republic and Chad has risen to 170,000 and also 16,000 in mm. Chad. And they are saying that these people actually want to come home, but we need to be sure that the government is ready to receive them, you know, give them an enabling environment to thrive. And the worry now is that uh, in Medugu, they have uh, internally displaced persons running up to about 3 million. So well, they are bothered about the fact that when these people come home, where would they stay? How would they survive? And all that. Stuff. Let's go to a quick, we're going to come back and continue with the review. Stay with us. We'll stay tuned. Your view will be right back. A mother's instincts are hardly ever wrong. She knows when all is not well. And she trusts M and B paracetamol, the red one, to save the day. With fast-acting and effective M and B paracetamol tablet, the red one, and its pleasant-tasting pineapple flavor syrup, she sends aches and pains far away from her family. M and B paracetamol, pain can't stop you. If symptoms persist after two days, consult your doctor. Mimi, where's your mummy? A major part of being a parent is being present. I struck out. And the winner is Mimi Idris. Thank you.
Stay in the picture no and be the parent you want to be. Call 0700 AXA Mansard today to speak to an AXA financial advisor. Thank goodness. Now that Grandma is here, I can take my leave. My flight is in two hours, honey. You know how the traffic is. But honey, hmm? you still need to drop me off at the hospital. Oh, uh, not to worry, honey. That has been settled. I booked an appointment already using the Clearline HMO app on my phone. You know we already have a plan with them. Wow, interesting. Clearline HMO provides you with flexible healthcare service right when you need it. You can pre-shuttle and book specialist services at your convenience. Hello, Mama. Is everything fine? My son, our baby is here. <laughs> with Clearline HMO, you've got a health partner with a cotton edge solution whenever and wherever. Get your health managed by subscribing to any of our healthcare plans available to individuals and corporate organizations. For more information, log on to www.clearlinehmo.net. Clearline HMO, the health insurance people. What's your beautiful, my essence, and my energy? My natural glow and my confidence. My freshness and fierceness. My beautiful is being me. Reveal your beautiful this beauty month with amazing discounts of up to 33% off select Nivea products in participating stores near you. Nivea, be you, be beautiful. with us. We're moving on now to the Daily Sun. Southern governors unite on VAT, insist on 2023 presidency. Manikai joins APC, says Spirit of God led him to it. IPOP suspends it at home <coughs> indefinitely. <coughs> Iboho urges supporters not to demonstrate attack or people in his name. Khan accuses <coughs> Gumi of promoting banditry. UN March has nothing to do with IPOP, Yoruba Nation Agitators reply presidency. Nigeria hit international capital markets with $6.2 billion euro bond offer. 
and um, DDP mocks presidency over justification of loans. Okay. Can I do IPOP? Yes, please mm. go ahead. Yes. So the uh, media and publicity director of uh, IPOP, Ima Powerful, yesterday warned anybody attempting to enforce the order to shelve their plan or have themselves to blame. They say IPOB uh, sit at home has been suspended indefinitely. And they have also set up a tax force to ensure that they look for all those people who may try to enforce it on Friday. They said the only time they will likely have that um, a sit at home is when Mazi uh, Kano will be going to court. But aside from that, it has been suspended. And anybody who is found trying to take advantage of that situation to force people to sit at home will be severely punished, that they need to do things right after all the backlash they've received so far. Yes, yeah, so mm. um, the leader um, Yoruba Nation, um, Sunday, uh, Ugo, Ugo, um, through his um, counsel, his lead counsel, Mr. Yomi Aliu, um, said that, um, it's, that there's time for everything. He was talking to his supporters that they should stop, um, you know, holding rallies and protests or defacing public um, facilities in his name. He says mm -hmm. there's time for everything, everyone should calm down, and that also in respect for those who have been, who were killed July 1st in his house, he's asking everyone to just hold off. Mm -hmm. And that um, they should also be careful of different people coming to make statements, claiming it's from him and that it is not except for this particular statement which was read by his late counsel. And that's what it is, just telling everyone mm -hmm. to stop the attack on public places and security personnel. Yeah, he's saying that any message from him will come directly from his counsel. Mm -hmm. Any other message is not from, from him, him. Mm -hmm. and that they should please leave his mom Hello. out of... All right, so the yeah. southern governors have also um, supported the, uh, the court's ruling concerning the, uh, the VATs. So if you recall, and remember the Lagos state had actually joined in the uh, in the suit yeah um so uh, they had a meeting yesterday in enugu and um they threw their weight um and um and saying that this completely support um governor wiki's initial um appeal to the court that mm. but to stay with the states. the states and they also continually to throw their weight uh with the um op the anti-open grazing bill uh, and i think that that was also discussed at the meeting and um, they reaffirmed their commitment to structural and fiscal federalism um, and they said that, uh, I know Anambra State was not represented, but the governors reiterated their earlier position that the next president must come from the southern part of the country. Mm -hmm. They didn't tell us which part of the south, it's because east many Nigerians are, are interested. Mm. Is it east? Or is west? it south, south? Is it west? Mm. Let us know which one. Don't, south is too vague. Mm. So please, if you at your next meeting, please say that your tell view us. wants to know which part of south <laughs> you're you're view. Nigerians. Nigerians. <laughs> like Nigerians wants to know. <laughs> then, uh, so, and they, I mean, as I said, they, they say, VAT falls within the power of the state, and they resolve to support the position that collective VAT must fall within their own purview. Okay, let's move on to Vanguard. Southern governors back rivers Lagos on VAT. Mm -hmm. That's really, I just said that. Sea piracy drops by 80%, says Nimasa DG. Nam Dekanu sues Kenya over extradition. Uh, ISIS, ISIS leader Al Sharawi, killer blown up in the drone strike, says French government. EFCC boss Bauer slumps at Asso Rock event is hale and hearty. Operators to begin 5G deployment on satellite. Micomsat 2 launches in 2023. Ten soldiers killed as insurgents ambush military convoy in Borunu. Terrorism, al system fueling banditry kidnapping in North, says Khan. Foreign Borunis escalate as Nigeria goes for $6.2 billion euro bond offer. Okay, which story are we taking? Okay, the main Vanguard. Story. Should I go? Um, the Nam Kano, did you read the Nam Kano story? You go ahead. If you, well. Because I, I, I'm even interested in the guy that slumped. Okay, uh, yes. So, so, yeah, the EFCC <laughs> boss was yeah. at an event in Asso Rock. At the, That's more your guy. Yes, so oh. he said, we saw the video, many How of us saw the COVID clip test for him? where he was talking and he seemed quite tired and he stopped. Mm. And when he got to his seat, he slumped and he's saying that he was actually just dehydrated. He slumped from the podium. No, no, he walked no, down. He walked uh, to his seat. He started to do like this. Yeah. He had to end his <laughs> statement yeah. halfway. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I, that's all for yeah. now. For real? Yeah. Uh, I watched the video. Okay, I so video. He, I saw it he's ju he just responded Maybe that he was... they are using work to stress this guy. He said he was dehydrated, and oh. that's what happened. But that he's back 
and his, his feet, feet. He and needs back to, rest to work. Though. Yes, I think he needs yeah, to work. Needs it's to not rest. easy. This corruption in Nigeria is, is a deep problem. Yeah. <laughs> if you maybe they are demon. Maybe maybe they 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 for corruption is a demon. Yes. Maybe some people are even calling his name. They are performing for him. Yeah, why no. Game. So we're let's not okay. even give them that excuse before they say that that Jew is okay. working. He's working. Mr. Bauer for us to beg. He's working. No, he's just working hard. Can you imagine fainting when you are sitting down? You know, you normally faint when you are standing up. He fainted when he was sitting down. He was already sitting. Why is people slump when they Sleeping down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one is heart attack. The you remember that guy that was in uh, the, the DG of uh, the, the, uh, what oh, is that thing? Was NCDC. It off your mic. Off your, was it off your mic? I think it's off your yeah, mic. It's off, off your mic. It's the off your mic. That one fainted mm. while he was sitting up. Mm. He just left. <laughs> <Y> <laughs> I want to talk about the Christian Association yeah, in Nigeria. So they are blaming the Amajiri system in the north for increasing cases of banditry, kidnapping, terrorism, and armed robbery in the country. So they're asking the authorities to pay more attention to the critical factors behind the widespread of insecurity in the country. And they also talked about the fact that. Um, Shegumi has been having links with the bandits until now. Nobody has arrested him and asked him questions. He's just left to be working free and he has not been brought in to explain some of his utterances. Uh, they said, um, you know, over 40 years we've had this imaginary system and these people have no trace to families, hometown or nationalities and they're scattered all over the streets. So they should be taken out of the streets. They should be given a sense of belonging. They should be put in school and help, you know, to help them release their potential. Mm. So they mentioned some of the things that the government can begin to do for these people to take them off the streets. So in a f fairly related story, Kanos uh, had suspended one of the um, caretaker chairman in Gumbe. His name is Reverend Sunday Congo. What did he do? He wrote a congratulatory message to Pantami. I don't know. I don't want to concern you and Pantami. He went to go and write Pantami saying that uh, he said they are proud of Pantami as a Gumbe son wow. on his promotion to the rank of Professor of Cybersecurity by the Governing Council of Futo. And Kanu said, ah, did we send you a message? Mm -hmm. okay. was, you know, so they just thought it was really wrong and distasteful of him to do that. Yeah, but so following that, history. he has given Pantami's history and the fact oh. that he's a suspected terrorist. Mm. Oh. So... Uh, he said this action of yours was published in a press release made wow. on behalf of the association because he was writing a letter on behalf wow. of Khan. Yes. Wow. So they say, Uncle, please. That was huge. Yeah. Just yeah. suspended him quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, I so have the Khan okay. story. Yes. Um, he sued the Kenyan government. He's, and he's oh. presented by yes, um, Lutri and company advocates. He's um, taking the, the um, res respondents are the CS, Director of Immigration, Director of mm -hmm criminal investigations, and um, the International Airport, the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, and the Attorney General. He says, they say he, he went to Kenya on medical grounds for a heart problem and to talk with people on the Biafra mm -hmm. matter. He went to the airport. <coughs> to, he got a phone call to go and pick somebody from the airport. Got to the airport, then they didn't hear from him mm. again. He will. That he was, was taken. Uh, he yeah. was taken. From there, the next thing they hear is in Nigeria. And because and they didn't British follow citizen. due process. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, he went with his British passport. passport. That he had renounced his Nigerian passport since 2015 hmm. when they said that he should return his passport. So hmm. he went as a British citizen, not as a. So why would you take a British citizen out of Kenya, Kenya, Kenya and, take him to and take him to Nigeria? Nigeria. Wow. So the, okay. the, he's suing them. All right. So there's one so, more story okay. there. So, um, we have 10 soldiers that were killed on a very, very sad note. These are soldiers that were working in the part of the Hadden Clay Theatre Command in Maiduguri. So um, these soldiers had been in the particular theatre for a long time. So many of them had overstayed. They were just <coughs> changing their posts. On their way out um, and going to Maiduguri, they drove into what they believe were mines that were set up by Boko Haram mm. and Iswap, mm. and it blew them up. Mm. Some say 10 soldiers, others say, mm. other people say 12 of them. And in that ambush, the terrorists were able to go away with three gun trucks and many ammunition and also some reasonable amount of cash. My heart really goes out to these um, soldiers and their families. Right. Mm. They are working so hard in protecting us and... Uh, uh -huh. These are the casualties that sometimes okay. happen. Yeah. It's, so it's a war. Amen. Yeah. It's a war. We Daily trust. Call it any other name. Southern governors insist on VAT. That's fine. So we've not taken on Saru group flings and for a hoist flight in two Kaduna villages. Concerns over union maids recruitment scam.
Air Force takes responsibility for Yobe shooting, raises probe panel. Can't suspend Gombe chair over the message to Pantami. <coughs> APC state congresses, anxiety as governors, others move to install cronies. Okay. Uh, Unimaid, who has yeah, that story? Yeah, the, there was a controversy at the University of Medugri uh, over the circumstances surrounding the recruitment and documentation of some non-academic staff. So uh, there were allegations that some of the staff were illegally recruited into the university, and it was done after they had gotten their clearance. Others were alleged to have paid bribes. So when investigation started, uh, the thing went viral on social media, and then they started investigation, realized that some Persons paid over one million to get, you know, recruited. But at the end of the day, when they got to the point where they would be paid, the IPPIS, they were found out. And so, you know, the government had, um, the school administration has said that um, the people who were supposed to be doing clearance are those who were not captured in 2020. So they needed to do it, and there was no new recruitment going on. So if you have been paid bribe to get recruitment. Go and collect your money from the people who collected the money from you. The school is not bringing in new people. Yeah. Mm. Those people will run. As in, Those you will see them. Hey. Mm. They are brake lights. All right, mm. that's all we can take on front page review. When we come back, we discuss the hottest news in Nigeria as of this morning. Nigeria's history. On the planet. On the planet. The, on the, on the planet. History. The break, groundbreaking news. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Introducing the Save and Win Pali promo. Just save 10,000 Naira or more monthly and stand a chance to win up to 5 million Naira and other exciting prizes in the Save and Win Pali promo. Download the Union Mobile app to open an account or visit the nearest Union Bank branch. Union Bank, your simple, smarter bank. Mommy is back. Guess what's inside? Chocolate. It's good. Our new toothpaste, Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection. Why are we changing our toothpaste? Because with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, I can be sure your teeth are cavity free. Cavity? What cavity? Let me show you. Most toothaches are caused by tooth holes called cavities. Ah! When you brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, its expert formula locks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavity. Colgate is the world's most chosen toothpaste. Colgate locks calcium in... Keeps cavities out! Recommended by the Nigerian Dental Association. Now, Morphic supports all mothers for the happiness of their babies by giving extra two and four pieces of free diapers. Come on, mothers! Try more fix and join our happiness movement. Oh, my God. Which medication are you giving this baby? Medication? Uh -huh. I have given him all sorts. Have you given him Bonabib? Bonabib. Yes, Bonabib. Naturally, babies cannot speak. All they do is cry whenever they're sick. And you know, a happy baby makes a happy mother. When your baby is going through aches, fever or pains, allergic cough, including discomfort associated with teething pains, treat your baby with Bonobabe Syrup. Bonobabe is manufactured by Bond Chemical Industries Limited, makers of Bond Paracetamol. Bonobabe Syrup contains Prastamol and Clofenoramine, available in pharmacies near Near you. If symptoms persist after three days, please consult your doctor. I use it for you when you are a baby. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live 
from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. PVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Discuss this and leave it. We will keep recycling these kinds of people. So mm. today we ask, what are your thoughts about Femi Fanikaode's recent um, cross carpeting mm. to APC <laughs> from PDP? And hobnobbing. Hobnobbing. And it. Um, I mean, even before we started the show, we've been getting messages from different people on this matter. And I would really like to start, if you, if you permit me. Go ahead. Uh, one of, one somebody sent me uh, Before a we message. start, can we Should just maybe remind people a little okay, of please. some of the things he had said. Oh, yes. So here, this is in the papers. He said that, I would never join Buhari APC. APC is mm. our Marjorie People's Congress. Mm. I would rather die than join APC or bow to Buhari. Mm. I'm committed to opposing the APC and those that are in their ranks for the rest of my natural life. Yes. Oh. And I will never join them no matter what. Mm. They are nothing but darkness whilst I stand for the light of God and truth. Okay. There can be no fellowship between light and darkness. Mm. So. Mm. so the question is, in Nigeria, are our <clears throat> words truly our bonds? Mm. Oh. Can you stand by your word? Do our leaders stand by their words? Mm. Mm. Can we trust anything they say? So they keep telling us, we are moving forward. We are fixing the country. We are doing this. But I'll give us a story because of things like this. So the question is, how do we begin to believe our leaders? And, and let me just hear your own initial thoughts. Crossing over first, before we even start reviewing what it means to us. No, yes. please, first read that message. We like the message. Okay, then let me, let me read. So, this message is from a, a viewer, and he said, his thoughts about Femi Fanekaudi. Cross carpet. He said he's delusioned about his political value. Mm. He says he's an inconsistent flibberty... 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 No, this is what <laughs> we have to start thinking about them. Mm. He said his fiendish equivocation is of tragic proportion. Mm. His followers can only be led one way, perdition. Jesus. As he has led once. So, uh, this one is an equi. I don't want to be for you. He says, by his treachery, he shall win nothing but lose all. Mm. Mm. Only God shall he find. I, that's it. I don't want, that, I don't want to shake it for him, please. Mm. That, that's it for Let me pick another one. He said, the milk and honey of politics that he so desperately seeks, he won't find. Mm. So, this is just one person, and the, 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 you see, he came from a place of pain. Mm. And I thought to myself, why is this person so pained? Mm. I, 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 your family member, mm. how, how does it concern mm -hmm. you? Mm. But it just shows 
how he was followed by certain people and how some of them oh, feel really um, hurt, hurt, hurt mm. and disappointed and betrayed that he took the step. Not that because APC is a bad place, mm. but what you said against this place and you went there, that's mm. really the issue. Mm. So let it's me hear like, your thoughts on it's this. It's like when they say a dog goes back to his vomit. Mm. So you throw it up and then you look around and then you come back. Me, I wasn't disappointed. Mm. I wasn't surprised. Uh, I've learned over the years not to really take what these politicians say because I know that at the end of the day, always there, there are no enemies in politics i studied political science in school and i know how they play that game you will see two people at loggerheads two different ideologies before you know what is happening they are hobnobbing with each other so i wasn't shocked when it happened when i saw people upset and everything i was like oh were you taking his word in the first place you would be something else to even believe him and i also know his person to be intoxicated with power Anyone who is intoxicated with power will get it by any means necessary. They don't care who they push down. They don't care whether they say it today. Their words really don't mean much because of um, they, they put their interest before every other thing that happens. So having someone like that who you see, so <laughs> it's just to dangle a little carrot and he changes his values. Mm. So I wasn't shocked. I wasn't surprised. I'm just, you know, wondering. Okay, why are you yeah. yeah. before it comes to shouting you. about it? The my first thought about him, because someone sent me a video of where the things, mm. how, how he was abusing Buhari. Mm. He used his mouth. I'm even surprised that the president met with him. First of all, you can cross carpet to my party, mm -hmm. but I don't need to meet with you because mm. he has insulted him. Mm. Go. Buhari said to small. that he that received him to mm. eat the asphalt. Ah. You think? So, it just, yes. It's politics. It, he lacks integrity. Simple. Mm. Some words. To buttress it. Yes. Ah, wait, some when you both there is too big for me. So let me let me quote uh um, Solo mm. Lugogles. He says, Today at the State House Abuja, someday somebody has come and joined the APC. Mm. And the large hearted and magnanimous president received him. Amen. Because that's the essential Buhari for you. Mm. A presidential aid. So Lou Gunlisi said. So that was what Tolu said, saying it was magnanimous of our president <laughs> to receive him from Do you agree? I do not agree. Mm. Because I can be magnanimous and greet you from afar. Mm -hmm. If you upset me, if you insult my person, I will just, I will not receive you. Mm. I will, because I will look, ah, this one is a bad person. You came for my person, not the politician. Uh, mm, so. No, I will. Read that guy. Uh, mm. So let me okay. just, <laughs> Dissem dissembling. Dissimulation, hmm. double dealing, hmm. dupery, hmm. duplicity, fakery, falseness, falsity, fraudulentness, fraudulentness hmm. hypocrisy, hmm. insincerity, hmm. two faced. No. May I add one more? Please. He berry berries him. Ah, what's that? Yeah. One? He berry be only he berry he berry berries him. <laughs> Greed. So, so, so wait, what's that thing? Uh, onya, onya, kini, onya, something. I will tell you. No. I will tell you. Oh, yes, talk to me like this now. Please, so, 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 so he's. <laughs> on your like that quack. Hey, blood of Jesus. <laughs> okay, thank you. Because he was fraternizing with evil people. Let me use evil language to tell him what he is. On your like that quack. Okay, so we 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 know this um, <laughs> bad person. His megalomaniac approach to like he wants mm, power. Yeah. So we we see that. But I want us to pack FFK because we've, we've yabbed him a bit. I'm not yabbed. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my was not yabbed. Okay. Please go ahead. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I've used coolness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah well, I think ahead. if I've used all the words, I yeah, just ahead. remember go my ahead. son then, if he's so upset with you, you say, bad person. <laughs> so you're a bad person. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the words uh, for me, there's, it's not, I'm not surprised as you rightly said. There's a an expectation of someone. He has lived a certain type of life. He mm. has left us a pattern. Maybe it's for the young ones. We need to, we're saying it now, for the younger ones who are meeting him or um, coming across him for the first time mm. and are wondering what this is all about. So it's good to give people's history. Mm. You know, many times we go to the polls or people come to talk, uh, talk to us about um, either electing them or things like that. We never know their history. So mm. it's important that it's documented, it's spoken about. So yeah. people understand mm. what your true values yeah. are. And for me, this man just seems like a man who is a, a child of opportunity. Mm. He's just uh, there for himself. Mm. And it's important for himself. us very, to very know that that is the sort of person that he is. So when he comes to... Um, when, he, when he comes to... Yeah, canvas for vote, ask to represent you, then you would see... You know, then you know why. And then secondly, 
There was a time he sat down with a group of journalists and a question was asked of him. Now you can hear, you, you can almost say there's a justification for how someone would open their mouth and say some things to you because mm. they you actually, sure? yeah. Mm. Well, who bankrolled you? Mm. Meaning we know you as someone who, who, lacks, integrity. who lacks integrity, yeah, who well. goes to where the, um, he, uh, you're being paid. Mm. And then so now we're going to ask the same question, sir. Who is bankrolling you? Okay, so let me go on a quick break. Thank you very much, Mariam, because he said the Spirit of God led him. Yep. So when we come back, we'll discuss this matter. Nah, we'll talk about, about the Spirit. spirit. Still, still we'll talk about that we Spirit. We'll right Spirit. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. A mother's instincts are hardly ever wrong. She knows when all is not well. And she trusts M&B Paracetamol, the red one, to save the day. With fast-acting and effective M&B Paracetamol tablet, the red one, and its pleasant-tasting pineapple flavor syrup, she sends aches and pains far away from her family. M&B Paracetamol. Pain can't stop you. If symptoms persist after two days, consult your doctor. We don't like to eat better. More nutritious meals, more veggies. But we want it tasty and easy too. Hmm. No cubes. That's the secret. Made with real ingredients like chicken, parsley, and garlic. And enriched with iron so your meals are better for you and more delicious too. That's the cocoa. Let's give it some accolades. Change your world by changing what's on your plate. I realized very young that I was different. My parents tried to enroll me in school. And the headmaster said, I don't want a child that will come and scare away other children. Madam, take your child home. I wept like I had never wept that day. MTN came in at a point when I was at my lowest. I got a call. And it, it turned the story around. They had found the hospital in South Africa. They had found a doctor. Till date, Great has undergone 17 surgeries, and the MTN has not turned their back on Great since then. Now that I'm graduating, I feel very excited. I'm ready for the challenges life has to push towards me. You call someone great, and then you expect that he has to go through something so that that name will be real. I'm bold, I'm confident, you can also do it. Guys, we can't leave. We've got to finish the client's order tonight. This time? How about some top tea to cheer us up? Only one bag of top tea makes two strong cups, so taste to no more flavor, enjoyment, Great. friendship, and upliftment. Wow, this looks gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful. Good. Taste to know. Top tea. Me tells and tells red. <laughs> Why are you turning off everything? First, it was the car, and now the freezer. My dear sister, with the rising cost of food, electricity tariff, and every other thing, it is only smart for me to manage my electricity consumptions. You know why? The freezer consumes. Babe, switch to the smart way with higher thermal inverter freezer. The 50% electricity saver. Wow! 50%? So you don't have to always turn off all your appliances. Especially your freezer. <laughs> Enjoy 50% electricity savings with higher thermal inverter freezers. My electricity saver, my pocket saver. Higher thermal, always there for you. Mimi, where's your mommy? A major part of being a parent is being present. I struck out, and the winner is Mimi Idris. Stay in the picture no and be the parent you want to be. Call 0700 AXA Mansard today to speak to an AXA financial advisor. The North is so beautiful, and the food. It's nothing like I have ever tasted before. 
the color. Vibrant. What about the aroma? The aroma, oh gosh. It smells just like this one. This smells so good. Yeah. Your jambo shinkafa tastes even better. <laughs> How did you do it? Onga seasoning. It's all the seasoning you need for great taste and aroma. Onga, Mama's helping hand. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still discussing and reviewing this bombshell Femi Fanny Kennedy threw on Nigerians <laughs> yesterday. Now, he said it was the Spirit of God that led him. And because even this week, we'll be discussing a lot of Spirit of God. Mm. It's going to your pastors, <laughs> you know, how God speaks to you, either through somebody else yeah. or through, the, you know, those kind of things. Mm. And when somebody like this says, Spirit of God spoke to you, I mean, it could be. In fairness, mm. because Spirit of God can speak to different people in different ways. Mm. But because, you see, I, I try to rationalize this. You and I don't, no, don't need to understand because it's between Him and God. Maybe you mm. say we are carnal. And because we are carnal. <laughs> but the truth is, if God really led him, mm. there, could there be a purpose for this leading? The, the, there is a tube here that says, by Ola Classic Sage, says, can we say Femi Fanica with this natural life has ended? Mm. So, Amelia read where he said his natural life, and then you are telling me the spirit of God. Mm. So, can we say it is his spirit his that moves to APC <laughs> and not his natural physical, physical body? Natural mm. body. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's an angle. That's an angle. Okay. So, let me take the Olumide score that I come to this angle. Olumide, are you there? Thanks for calling. <laughs> yeah. Good You're good live. Good Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning. 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 Yeah, I would like to appreciate the work you guys are doing. Um, my quick uh, point on the first thing is that man has no value. He man has no principle. No and um, I also think that uh, it's good for youth in Nigeria to be where who they follow. Not just following people because uh, they have achieved a particular sector of life. And in speaking about the spirit, uh, you know, we have different kinds of spirit. <laughs> Even in the Bible, we, uh, we compare having not being drunk with wine, you know, with the mm. only spirit. So there are different kinds of spirits. Spirit. So mm. it, could be, it could be a spirit that has told you, but after it can be the Holy Spirit. That's my contribution. Right. Mm. Thank, Thank you, Olumide. So I want us to, as usual, because we, we, we usually don't like putting people on the pedestal here. So we've talked about him a bit. Let us pack him mm. in a second. Let's now take this issue of your word being your born as a leader. In this week, we're discussing leadership. Yeah. So mm. he's a leader. People look at He has tremendous amount of followers on Facebook, and Instagram, Twitter. and Twitter, and all that. So the point is, when your leader goes back on his word, how does that make you feel? So it's not about you going to APC. That's like 0.00% of the issue. Exactly. You don't care which party you go to. Exactly. What Nigerians are saying is that your word is no more... Your bond. A bond. I can't, I can't hold you to your word anymore. Mm. So how do we juxtapose these therefores with all the other leaders we have? Can we even trust any of them? So, you know, the guests we had uh, a few days ago that talked about uh, leadership told us that uh, politicians are not leaders. The problem we have is that we are looking for leadership mm -hmm. from the politicians. And the people who are natural leaders, who have been made to lead, uh, don't find themselves in politics. We have to, you know, remind them and take them there, you know, because they already have it. But those ones who are there need to come back and study how to become leaders. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not about having followers. It's not about being in the public space where people just, yes, it, that doesn't really make you a leader. We need to start looking at the criteria that make you a leader. And one of it is integrity. Excellence. Mm. One of it is your Integrity. ability to say something and stand by it, come what may. And unfortunately for us, our type of politics does not, we don't, we don't do politics based on ideologies. There, I can't say this is the ideology of the PDP now. 
this is what PDP stands for, or this is what APC stands for. They don't have clear-cut ideologies. Everything just models because they are putting their interests first before that of the nation. So there's no clear-cut on this is what we stand for. There's, you can't hold anything and say this is what these people stand for no matter what this is where they are going to be so till we can you know right, and understand what forms your um your interest in being in power why do you want to be in power why do you want to be in a place of uh, uh, a rulership let me use the word rulership why why must you be the one there can you step aside and allow somebody else be there because you are definitely going there because of the things you want to benefit and we've seen how we've had cases of this particular guy who has <laughs> abused power who has you know manipulated people you know it, 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 all the videos yeah. are on social media as a so, matter of fact i mean even even femi ojudu added his um thoughts to he says that um today is the saddest day Ojudu, <laughs> saddest day for him in his political career. Mm -hmm. That's very. Can you imagine? This is the yeah. So this is one of okay. his really close colleagues. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, there, there's so many so, people saying, and that person says he's shameless, self-serving, an incorrigible individual. Original. I mean, so many of principal names have been he's been called. I, and as I said, I don't want us to focus too much on him. Okay. He's, he's more of leadership. Your I was listening okay. to the radio today. This yeah. guy Charles Olojode. He said that. Oh. We should stop. Oh, you have a phone call. Yes, yeah, huh? she's been holding for a while. Yeah, please, quickly, quickly. please, are you there? I'm yes, so sorry for keeping you. Go ahead, please. Um, I think this this issue of coyote is is not a new thing. When you are dealing with people that are very very funny, and you see these politicians, they are not out for the masses. Mm. They are just out for themselves. Yeah. When we keep on looking up to them, we we are not going anywhere because most of them, when they get there, you will not even see them. So why are you even talking about somebody that is not relevant to us? He has never, he has never won anything. He has ne he's not relevant to Nigeria as far as we're concerned. So Jeez. this one is not a point of um, discussion. So right. I think mm -hmm. we are wasting our time talking about Kayote because he's, 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 he's a nobody in Nigeria. Thank, Thank you. Me. Thank you very much, Peace, for your thoughts. Yes, so, yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. So um, I was saying. He said we should stop saying APC and PDP, that there are only two parties in Nigeria, and it is not APC and PDP. said the parties, APC and PDP, one and party, the others. and the rest of us, Nigeria. two parties. <laughs> mm. And I thought about it, so I said, it is true. Mm, because okay. when we keep dividing them, because tomorrow yeah, they're in APC, the next day they're in PDP, they then they go, ah, come on. Yeah. Yeah, yes, so for me, yes, okay. where is the integrity into your law? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so one of the things why I like what is I like what is happening, and thank God for social media and television, is for us to learn. We need to use this as life lessons. So a lot of times we have people who are well spoken. When they sit down here, it's happened to us. Someone will sit down here and speak to us, and we're like, "Whoa, where have you been? You should be the president right now." And it's important that we now look people and dissect them beyond the, mm. their Spoken flowery words, words mm. you know, and the confidence that they seem to exude. exude. We need to look at the content of their character. And the, one of the ways to look at it is when you say a word, do you mean it? Do you have integrity? Many times we've asked people who've come here, like, how do we know who a true leader is? It's not in the many education. When people ask for pedigree, the pedigree is not about how, much your, your father, how mm. much your father had mm. and passed on to you. Mm. Your pedigree is in your word and your action. And obviously, people like these, um, have no pedigree, in my, mm. in my opinion. Mm. No matter how much money you have or who your father used to be, oh, you me. have no pedigree, you have no integrity. And it's important for the young ones. We have so many first-time voters now. These are the sort of things you should look out for. The people that say one thing and mm. then do another thing. For me, he has even... I know you don't want us to refer to him, yeah. but he's now a shining example of what not, not to, to be. be. Mm. Oh, Fantastic. Well, <laughs> shining you example of what, what not, not to be. be. <laughs> He's yeah, shining. Maybe shining maybe. star. <laughs> shining star. Super star. Don't no, be no. like FFK. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the tagline. No? Yeah. Ah. Don't be like mm. FFK. Yeah. That's yeah. the tagline. That's a t-shirt right there. Hurting my liver. <laughs> that's a t-shirt. Uh, we are going to wear it. It's hurting my liver. I'm going to do that t-shirt. You will wear it. I have yeah. a call yeah. for worry. <laughs> what to put us in trouble? I hope there's not DSS outside waiting for us. I've already given my own to you. Okay, for worry. Joe, please. The spirit of God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I, I, you know me. Spirit of God. Good morning, Orikiroro.
Please. Hello. Uh -huh. Good morning, sir. Go ahead. You are live. Uh, Mariah, good morning. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I think I'm calling with protest. I, I've missed the rat. Hello. Uh, we can, can hear you. Go ahead, please. I've missed several attempts to, to reach you ladies, but this is the first time I'm... I'm Welcome to the show. Yeah, I, I like what you ladies are doing, but the, the truth is, it's unfortunate one has to fund his air time to discuss about a man that I see should be given his discounted value. I, 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 I live and I grew up in Sanika Yode Street, the, the street named after the father of this man. But this is a case of someone who, whose father has a legacy, and the, the young man has only come to um, generate that value, generate that value. The legacy of a good name that the father has, has worked on over time. Now, the, the basic truth is this. We are, we are missing a point. A situation whereby anybody will find around the political scene we refer to him as a politician. Fanika Yode is not a politician. Mm. He's an opportunist. Mm. And he should, be, he should be seen and treated as such. In fact, he is a political nomad. <laughs> He's a political nomad. And when we are caught in this sort of attention, we make him seem relevant. I, I don't think he's someone who has a positive place in the history of Nigeria to go on that. Mm. And it would be right to see him as one who is a paid uh, merchant. Right. Who is asked. Right. Thank you very much. Um, is a I like political that. nomad. nomad. <laughs> I, I like see, that I wanted to go back to what Mariam said, which I thought was key. This issue of pedigree, legacy. Mm. Because this is a man that indeed had pedigree. Mm -hmm. it's a, that was a high term. Pedigree, education, it's education, education correct. In the best yeah. schools. Best schools in the mm. world. So... This is supposed to be somebody that everybody's like looking up to. But unfortunately, it's beyond the pedigree that backs you up. Mm. It's the character you show yeah. today. Yeah. And I think that should be also a lesson to young people. Yes, yes you may not have the best background, you mm. may have the best pedigree, even you, you may even have the best pedigree. Mm. But if your character mm. does not speak mm. of you, your character is lacking. Yeah. You are nothing. So I think we need to start redefining pedigree. Oh, yes. Thank you, For Jesus. a long time, we have relied on daddy, your, your father's mommy. ability to create wealth and make money and then send you abroad to the best of schools and all of that. And so those uh, children who are not opportune to come from homes like mm. that always feel left out, like, hmm? Who is my father? Me now, I don't even have... Who is, who? Do you know my father? My sister, I don't even know your father. <laughs> you know? But we need to start redefining our pedigree now. Mm. What should be the criteria? How do you say this person has pedigree? pedigree? We need to go back to the basics that our forefathers had. Integrity, truth, honesty, mm. ability to stand by the truth, ability to speak truth to power. Mm. Those are the things that we need to value. But also, remember our guest, mm. Osas, the mm. partner of yes. Osas, he has pedigree. pedigree. Yes. yes. That's pedigree That's speaking. Pedigree. So pedigree, pedigree can go you know, either way. You, yeah, you see, there is pedigree and there is pedigree. Mm -hmm. When you have the pedigree of the, the Your name. antecedents of his father, and not because they are having his father here. Oh. Because the father gone was it. like that. Oh. Yes, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay. No, it's true. Yes. It's true. Like it. it's, yes. Let's not bring the father so here. I'm not bringing the father. I'm only telling you. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what At happens. The yes, antecedents of the father yeah. are not far from the son. Because you cannot that give what you don't have. Now. Oh. Hey, hey. Mm. So it's not about the Eton College. Yeah. It's not about that. It's, it's not, not about that. Yeah, it's yeah, about yeah. character. You have followed your really true pedigree. It's and about that's character. his pedigree. It's about strength but we have of moral. Failed. Okay. And because I keep on saying it, a man who doesn't know where he's coming from. We don't remember where he's going. We know going. where he where he's at and where he's going to. Mm. So they, okay. we, we have failed to realize where, where FFK coming is coming from. Mm. That's why we are all at this and we are all. Hey! Hey, hey FFK! He's no, only no. following the true. Pedigree. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, let's go on a break. <laughs> when we come back, we will take more calls and messages. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Growing your small business from where it is. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. 
our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and Hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. Class sporting facilities and recreational arena that promises to seat about 3,500 spectators. We also have ongoing here electrification project. City of David is going to be powered live by dedicated electricity supply. It does not matter where you are, who you are, or where you're from. There is always a home for you at Adron Homes. Showing up in style inspires great confidence. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live and Thanks for staying with us. So we're still on this FFK matter. So Reno Mokri has added his voice to this matter. In fact, Maybe. the whole of Nigeria, this is a hot topic for I'm today. You. He says, you say you are a friend of Sunday Igboho. You mm. called him your brother. <laughs> you even called Nam Dekano your friend and brother. And one of the most courageous persons you know. You see what this demon in human flesh is doing to these freedom fighters. Yet, you do this. It makes me suspicious. How can these two people you were close to who confided in you mm. end up in Buari's trap and then you attend to his party. Mm. Uh -huh. It looks like 30 pieces of silver. Jesus, At this point, I would very much hate to be your own friend and brother. Oh. Hey, this is for Rina Walker. Betrayal mm. join. Ah, you don't know what betrayal is. Mm. Eh? Mikey, tell us. Do you know what betrayal is? Do you know that when you are betrayed, especially by someone you are close to, you can't eat all. 
Mm. You can't eat. You can't sleep. Mm. They will be asking you what's wrong. It will be like sickness. Mm. Mm. That is what he has done to his, his no, followers. Allies. His followers. Mm. You know, and his followers. Mm. Yes. Because people believed in what? this guy. What? Mm. What? When you starts, abuse family, look at where people are. They can kill you. They will come yeah. after his you. Followers will, ah. His followers Ah, yes, okay. they will come after you. Yes. But look at what he has done. Mm. Now, those ones, they are not it. They, they are the ones calling now and saying, why well, are we discussing this? It's not an issue. Penning them. He's penning them. <laughs> they are in pain. Mm. They are not sleeping. Mm. They, they are not are eating. They are not eating. Ah. <laughs> okay, let me go to my but let me, let me, let me take this call. <laughs> good morning, Yakub. Are you there? Good morning, your life. Go ahead, please. And uh, good morning to you all, especially this is Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you see, let me let me go the way of uh, office. I'm not I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised because the reason is this: I would be surprised one day if I heard that Ashwajubola Hamed Sinubu moved from one party to another. I will be highly surprised. Mm. I will be surprised if I had that to the language of uh, Jigawa State, move from PDP to any other party, I will be surprised. Mm. Those are the two things that are, those are two people figure that I can mention now. And then I, I want to correct one impression here that uh, all the politicians are the same thing. No, no, they were not the, they are, they, they were, some of them are very upright persons. Mm. Let me give you a, one typical example. You cannot start compare Professor Governor Sulumu of Bonu State with uh, Kayo Deva, uh, uh, Fanny Kayo Deva, you can never compare both of them. Mm. Because Professor Sulumu, if you give him a, a, a leadership role, you will know that you give him someone that you can rely on, he can be able to do whatever you ask him to do. Go to Bonu State, even though Boko Haram was attacking them, go and look at what this guy has been able to do in that place. So let me back to this uh, Fanny Kayo Deva. This is a person that can never won a, a world in his own political area. He, can, mm. he has never won his world. Mm. So what is political Falu? He wants to hard to APC. Rather than, though he was an eloquent person, he can be able to talk anything. In terms of talking, let me, I'm sorry to say this, but I will say this. He can say rubbish to any other party so that he can be able to downgrade political party. I'm talking about opposition now. Mm. So, Morayo, let, let us look inward. He joined political party, he came to APC. Let me tell you, tomorrow, tomorrow is not far from us. He will move again back to the PDP. Mm. I can tell you that. Go and write it down. Because Thank what you. is looking... Thank you very much, Jacob. Yeah. Yes, 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 so, because uh, he lacks integrity. Yeah. If you have integrity, what he's doing? What he's doing? How does he want to teach his children? How does he want to teach his followers uh -huh. who are younger than him? Exactly. Mm. Go ahead, man. OK, so... Another thing that we need to understand is this sort of behavior in the beginning has its perks. It pays. So you're able to move from one place to the other. Where you find opportunity, it pays you. But I'm happy again that I'm saying this again that it's happening, it's playing out in front of us because it has an end date. So we have people who we question. You know, when, when other people say, no, these are the things you should chase. You should chase character, you should chase integrity, your word should be your bond. And you see people who do that. And we ask the question, but to what end? Mm. They, they don't even have anything to... that. Yeah, like, you know, island they, house. Exactly. There's nothing ostentatious or glamorous or materialistic that they have acquired, or material that they have acquired. But these people that are jumping from one party to the other, Seems telling lies, peddling lies, you know, are doing better. So people can now see that there's an end date. You will play this game for so long that one day you come... Uh, you, you, uh, then you make a mockery of yourself. So this is where it ends. Because a lot of people have only have always seen the beginning, the middle. Nobody has ever seen the end. And for me, I feel that it is downhill from here with such a behavior. It would not lead you anywhere. And then, as you said, what happened to those behind him? And now we're talking of his own real children. Mm. How, when they read things like that, how would they feel? Yeah. They would now have to make a name separate for themselves. The you know? distance. Let me take this call. call. Let me take this call. I would change my name if I was his child. And I, and I wasn't like him. I, ah. I would now become Jenny, my not <laughs> FFK. <laughs> my loss. My loss. Mm -hmm, FFK. Without. Take this call. Let me take this call. <laughs> Good morning. I um, can't even remember the name again. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, are you there? Hassan, thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Don't worry about the name, Mariah. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, good, good morning, all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Let, me, let me take the part of Mariam 
and why KT is gone. Look, a clown wants it. If you don't know where you are going, any road can take you there. Yeah. This guy, Fanny Kyle, knew not where he's going to. It's a political zoba. He's oh, looking for what he is. Look, Obama and John has said it all about Gadi uh, about, about, about Fanny Kyle. He said, give him food. He will sing your song to the high heaven. Mm. Mm. That's the type of person that yes. guy is. You don't take him serious. He can be in any party tomorrow. He is just making his money. These are the people that live on bullying somebody to make money. Yeah. Bullying one party mm -hmm. to make money. Yeah. He's not a principal person. He was mm -hmm. brought in. Look at the history of Panikari. He was brought in by Obama. You understand? To lash at his opponent. That was the job. And now he's still being infected. He's earning his living. Look at his family lifestyle. More than one girl I tell you about that. Is that actually? Look, don't think these guys of people are the press center. They are not the press center at all. Mm -hmm. I'm not even surprised. It's an account. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody send me, I'll come to UBC. Somebody send me a message. He says, listen, Femi Fanikare will become Minister of Information mm. when Yahaya Bello becomes president in 2023. Mm. He has four boys to take care of. So the truth is that as we are speaking at Yabin today, tomorrow he can become your Minister of Information. Yeah. Yeah. And we say, hey, Honorable Minister, we must mm. go. We now start inviting him. Ah, Honorable, please, no, you welcome to the show. Today you are inviting him on the show. Don't tell me so I won't come to the show. So if you don't come, I don't call who now. If you don't call me. I am Ryan or Maria. No, I mean. And Nima. No, Tokpai will we'll host the show. <laughs> me, I'll be in my house. But the point is that, listen, as we are seeing this now, but in our very before, mm. he we can see become, him become Minister. minister. Or become vice president, mm. or but whatever it is. Problem, That's or that. Not. So, uh, so or not. we all, well, unless we make that decision, yes, yeah. unless as a people we stand yes, against yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. But if it becomes appointed, mm. but you can't stop somewhere so, the president from appointing so his own, me his friend to, to become minister. What I want to say that a lot of people knew him to his background and still chose to follow him. They knew his pedigree, they knew his character, they knew the flaws in the character, and they still chose to follow him. Everything we are saying today, there are still people who will die for him, mm. who are still following him. We need to start questioning the sort of people that inspire us. We need to start asking questions. When you see somebody and you see and you, you know, present the sort of people that inspire you, we need to start looking at you two times. So this kind of person, knowing who he is, still inspires you, you yourself, we need Get to check there. you. You have a problem. He's had about so four we, divorces or something like that. Thank you. So we need to start holding each other accountable. We need then, to start asking those questions. Yeah. Don't just feel because this person has money, this person is okay, this person can speak, spray, 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 spray. Yeah. This person should be a leader. We need ah. to start asking questions. Yes, sir. Because with everything spray, spray, we are saying today, ah. there are people that are still, still lining up now. for this guy. He will still speak very And soon. there are the people that will vote him if, for adventure, he comes up and he wants to become this and that. Yeah, for adventure. Uh, I know you so we need to question that. If they that's full of spray, we need to question that. Who are you? Can you remember when he started that journalist? Who are you? Would you sit down? Mm. Can you imagine? <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> For I will ask the question about the president receiving him. If you were the one, would you receive I'll him? Never. I said I will. I'll receive him as an example. He also said that the president graciously received me. The grace is on the president, <laughs> yeah, not him. and not on him. Mm -hmm. It's important that sometimes, you know, you also mentioned... Let me, me I will not be gracious, so. Yeah, so you also There's mentioned no that eh? um, after knowing him, mm. you, still, you, you still bring him into the fold. They know him and they use him as a tool. You understand that he's vocal. And, you know, as the last caller said, mm. you will use him for, Against what, the other yes, people. for what he is. Wow. And that's what it is. And for me... If someone like that comes back, I will take that person. And use him? I will, yes. No, yeah. for, so, yeah, you for, for what he, he is. being I there is already a yeah, lesson. It's a lesson mm. for a lot if of people. If he will learn now. No, he has no, learned. No, no, people no. like this don't people learn. People will learn. For him. People it's will for learn. People to learn from no, what he has Excuse me. You assume that the people have shame. We are beginning to lose shame here. Oh, say, after all, I can mess you. up and do everything. And what thank I do, I tell them I'm okay, I'm sorry. No, we are the emperor that was naked and you don't know he was yeah. naked. Let me take, let me take this call. Magaji, are you there? We have to wrap up because our, our morning, guest is in the studio. Good morning. Go ahead. You're live. Yeah, so to... I've just been watching this program with my dad and I can tell you that the pain on, that can be seen on the face of my dad and even me is something you can't explain. Wow. The opposition party that is supposed to be keeping this
present government on their tool is not doing anything. Mm. And the only people that have been given us hope have been Femi Fani Kayodi and Reno Omokri. And if this morning we are waking up to the news that this guy has defected to the APC, then mm. I don't know what's left for There's us. There's no hope. Because these are the only people that have been given us hope. Mm. It's really, really painful. I'm actually surprised. Mm. And even now, I'm thinking that we can just wake up tomorrow and even in our move, we may just move to the APC. Oh. This is really, really bad for Nigeria. Mm. And I don't know well. what the future holds for us as you and what we are. Thank you, Magaji, for bringing that up. Because I remember YK when PDP was in power. Oh, my goodness. AP was such a strong opposition. You could feel, I mean, when they brought this change campaign, even before the change, Lai Mohammed was almost every day on TV. You could see the pressure from APC. It wasn't there gathering. was something, there was, a, there was an AB class. You mm. could see it, the energy. But when, when APC entered, people just went, come, 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 come at us. We and didn't hear no, no, them. No, 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 no. And they were trying to stifle them. Yes. Like this. Been so to we saw them. APC get stronger, mm. did everything. They, were, they had this, their propaganda. We saw it was propaganda. Uh, because but we they were allowed to. to. What you are even missing no. here is they were listen to. to that Mogaji score. Yes. Pain. He's in pain. Oh. Betrayer. Because, yes. This is okay, somebody who gave him hope. Will he eat today? Yeah. Mogaji, you say he him and his father. It's not just him. Yeah. It's him and his father that are not eating today. He said, he's talking with pain. Mm. He gave them hope. I could oh. feel it. Yeah. Mm. I, I was almost in tears. <laughs> Oh, okay. no. So, you know, so he's saying that he's afraid also that, you know, other people that they look up to may move to the, uh, to the party as well. And that is what I was talking about, how they yeah. use you. Okay. So the part for whether you like it or not, it's a powerful statement for the party. It means that everything you have said against APC, you have swallowed it. It is not true. APC is a better party. I mean, based on his words, if you had called something black before mm. and now you've gone and you have called it white, you have washed it off of all the things that you said that were attached to it and you have now presented it now what you you stand as a symbol presenting it as a better mm. party than what you thought but what does now that he say? also mentions that you know in the past two years he's seen some of the improvements of the party that is that, that do you know that's like free pr that you have just gotten yes so now that's a party we're not talking of human beings a I human know. relationship is it's different. different okay but i get now it we're talking of party who all they're trying to do, parties, what the parties try to do is get people to vote, get mm. people to all right. want so to So whatever part brings of it, them the numbers, that's because it. they all I don't have, have an ideology. Exactly. I have, I have to wrap up on this. Exactly. Are... Sorry, Murayo Jani. Sorry. Eh, is it number? Mm. It's about integrity. Yes, no, it's about Everybody number. doesn't have integrity inside Even there. Even if you say anything and you come back, as long as you're going to help us bring people to our hey, side, oh. it's okay. It means you two should be checked. You are not ah, let me Let me end this segment with this, this uh, message from Helen Essien. She says, FFK doesn't shock me. Mm. A man unstable in his ways cannot control his home. Bagan. Always in the news for the negative reasons. The cautious fellow who puts his mouth in motion before his brain is engaged in the game. <laughs> Nigerians should not be surprised at all. Mm. Helen Essien. I, thought, I thought that really sums up what we're saying here. That The truth is that we are doing not like FFK. What was that t-shirt again? Mm. Not like, not like don't be, don't be, don't be, or not like, mm. FFK, not like or, or, or don't be, or mind that. whatever. So because we are learning as young people what not to be, mm. yes. who not to be. Who not to be. Mm. It's not about the don't English you speak. Mm. It's not so much again about the pedigree. Pedigree is good. Mm. Pedigree can work for you, just as like we saw with the, with Osaro. Or against you, it can work with no, you <laughs> for you. Pedigree, can work against you. No pedigree. It's pedigree. The yes. right pedigree is now. Hey. Is what we should be. He is only following his own pedigree. Yes. Mm. Okay. So everybody if has me, their own pedigree. I come and go and kiss Buari tomorrow. You will know that I'm, something I'm, has I'm, happened I, to they, you. They, they, they check my DNA. You like it. Go and check. Wait, you will have to check my DNA. Like like no, no, I am not okay. for that okay. time. Mm. Okay. If you go and DNA, okay. Okay. let me tell you, if you go in part and brown instead, nobody will call you and question you. And if you go for a pedigree, they don't worry about that one. That's a different thing. Can I even go on stage in part and brown? You didn't go on stage in part. You didn't. No, they just took videos of him. He's rehearsing at home. So if you are not if you are rehearsing in brown pants, we know it's your pedigree. Yeah, but that one is a different pedigree. That, that was a, don't buy her. Mm, yeah, we are talking ideology. Uh, uh, eh? We are talking ideology. Uh, uh, come, you are coming from some town. Don't talk rubbish okay, here. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I have pedigree. Uh, uh, exactly. exactly. I have correct pedigree. You are with them. We have pedigree. Yes, okay. we are building. We are building. building, 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 building
We are here tomorrow. Yes. We will ah, 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 my father will turn in his grave. Oh, <laughs> exactly. He will do DNA for her. My father will turn in his grave. Exactly. Okay? So and he's following his pedigree. Mm. So pedigree works. Yeah. Okay. It's just that Osas you had mm. was following his own pedigree. He was yeah. talking truth to power. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's his own pedigree. Do you his own pedigree? Yeah. You follow. I think we sh you should so follow build, your pedigree. You need to go build your own yeah. pedigree. pedigree. If you, you don't, don't have, be afraid to be have. the only one, Seth, when you are standing for your truth, mm. do not be afraid exactly. to be the minority. Yeah. Mm. Mm. True. That's all we can take on this segment. Ah, you me. We finished. Let's Calm go. Down. Break. It's finished forever. Please, Mikey. <laughs> so when we come back, our guest takes the stand. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Doubt. At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. and of course traffic and that's all part of the hustle and bustle of city life but the real fun starts when I can just settle down and catch up with all my favorite programs on TVC believe me it's pure entertainment As an advocate for child education and female empowerment, I believe every child deserves an education. As a father of a set of uh, twin girls, uh, I advocate for social justice and a more inclusive society. So join us as we celebrate and encourage child education in Nigeria. With the maiden edition of the TVC Female Championship Debate. I'll be your host, Mariah Afolabi Brown. I'm Oscar Onisan, your host. Look forward to meeting you there as well. The TVC Female Debate Championship, encouraging young Nigerian girls to speak up for nation building.
Thanks for staying with us. So our celebrity guest today is a multi-award winning songwriter, producer, artist, gospel artist, Mr. Wale Adenuga in the building. You, we like to refer you as a veteran. You're one of those that have trained many, many people have looked up to you growing up. You're somebody that helped so many people in this industry. And you're one of the major foundations of the gospel music industry. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you so much. So how has it been? I mean, we, I know gospel music industry have evolved. There are a lot of things happening. Um, you are one of those that try to make it a, a, a proper, proper structure into, right. a, in, in, into this industry because then it was just haphazard. It was just doing anything. Right. And you're trying to really formalize it, make it profitable for those who are in the industry. You know, let's create some kind of a proper formal, formality in this. How has that been so far? How, what, what, how would you review what the gospel music industry have become as right. of today? I think, I think uh, first of all, good morning, everybody. Um, I watch this show. Um, <laughs> thank you. I, thank I, I you. feel like calling every morning. I say, first time caller. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 so guys, they're glad, but now I'm on the show, so that's even bigger. Um, you know, growing up in a generation uh, such as mine, if you, if you told your parents that you wanted to do music, um, it's like, I mean, you must be out of your mind. Yeah. Mm. So, um, but then, you know, you, you, you brave it and then you're, you're doing it. Of course, you're not even, I'm not even doing that full time because I do business and all of that. But then there's so much talent right now and there's definitely a need for structure. So people move from just singing in church and now we now ask ourselves, okay, how can we you know, put a structure around this in terms of, there's still a huge problem. For instance, you hear so many songs and you don't even know who wrote the song. Mm. Yes. I mean, yeah. even some of my songs, some people don't even know. That, is yours. that I wrote it. Oh, somebody said today. Oh. I mean, we, we had we had a case in court a couple of years ago, and in fact, the lawyers has been in existence since time immemorial. Oh yeah, it's been well. Today, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, is that your song? Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, I knew that. Wow. Oh, I knew that. Okay, yeah, so let me give you that one. So, what, what about you? You alone are worthy. Yeah. Yeah. It's your song. Yeah. Yeah, it's not so that I, I would have gone to that. <laughs> we started yeah. Christianity with that song. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so you find out that those kind of structures are now coming into place. At least mm. let's even know who wrote the song, mm. you know, royalties. Mm. You know, I mean, you read the stations, play your song. Instead of them paying you, you pay them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, um, but then you just have to be as fastidious and as, and as determined as possible, mm. you know, to just, to just stay in there. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I would say. So uh, mm. one of the problems uh, we have in that industry is you know, making it into a business like right. the other types of music, mm. which we like to call circular. I mean, music is music anyway. Right. But um, is there anything that a gospel artist or singers can begin to do to make when they go to churches and mm. they present, they don't just receive God bless you, sister, God keep mm. you, God keep your home, you will really right. bless our lives, and then you go. Is, are there certain things that they can begin to do so that when they are booked, they are mm. really treated? Because mm. some of these that churches is. book you, and when yeah. you book the secular artists, the treatments are different. Yeah. Well, you see, it's, it's a tough slope to climb because um, culturally, um, you have to understand the culture of the church. Mm. So, to a large extent, you find that some people, uh, right now, if we talk about money, some pastors are not even going to touch you. Mm. So, one of the things I, I tell young people, uh, and this is what I, I tell young people, you see, there are very few churches uh, with which you can strike a contract with. A lot of churches are still small. And I say to, I say to young artists that, look, if you play the money game, uh, because you're responsible, you, you have a call from God. You're indirectly saying to God that... Um, if it's only the churches that can pay me, I'm going to, you're indirectly saying to God that I'm, I'm not ready to sing to the majority of God's people. Mm. So what I say to young people is this, maintain a relationship. Work with a small church. A small church is not good to be small forever. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because if I go to a small church and say, oh, pay me 300000 they probably don't have it. Yeah. They probably don't have it. So does that mean that I won't sing there? But if I sing there today, okay, they give me 100000 who knows what they're going to be in 10 years' time? Mm. And then you would have reading with them. I'll tell you a true story. 
one of the guys who is A-list today, A-list gospel artist. Um, a church sat down and they were thinking, okay, let's, um, who do we invite for a concert? And his name was mentioned many years ago, right? And then somebody said, oh, who knows him? Mm. Now today, they're trying to get an A-list artist. He doesn't, even, he doesn't even have the time. Mm. But see, if he had plugged, if they had plugged him in yeah, then... Mm -hmm. so you can call him anytime. Yeah, anytime. anytime. You know, with the mm -hmm. gospel artists abroad, and recently one of ours, there's some of them that their songs, and they have become Global. huge international right. personalities. Right. Um, mm. For those abroad, I'm not sure how they do it, but for the one that we know very well here from Nigeria, mm. a lot of people talk about her relationship with her church, and they mm -hmm. say the church sort of helped to boost her. Yes. Um, so is this the sort of relationship then you're asking artists to have with churches so that they may be boosted? You know, the reason I ask this is because <laughs> when it comes to gospel and yeah. Christianity, we always think it's spiritual. God mm -hmm. should boost should you. Holy free. Spirit mm -hmm. should boost you. Yeah. And then now you're asking spiritual people to be strategic. Mm. Doesn't that take away from their <laughs> spiritual yeah. gift? So let me, let me, so let me, let me, let me use myself as, as, as an example. I remember a particular church invited me uh, maybe like 10 years ago, for a benefit concert. And um, it was supposed to be like a contractual thing, okay, so how much would you charge? And I, and I said to myself, look, I organize benefit concerts. I know how much it takes to organize an event. So I said to the pastor, you know what, no, um, I won't take anything, right? And I actually told my guys, I mean, the musician, I said, look, we won't do this because we're doing this. Now, today, let me tell you, if I talk to that pastor and say, look, I'm doing this. He comes. Full support. In full support. Mm. That is what relationship is all about. You see, relationship is more important than temporary gains. Mm. And that's one of the things that a lot of the younger people have to understand. Sometimes you'll be taken for granted, mm. undoubtedly, but they will even up. But how do you expect them to survive? For instance, there are some people that tell you God has called them into music, mm. and that is all they are meant to do. So they are not doing other jobs. <laughs> let me, let me, let me. I have a word for young people. Mm, give us all that stuff about this is what God has. My friend, go and find something else to do. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I always tell people, what else can you do? Mm. In fact, this music is supposed to be a leverage for you, because so I do this music. Now, I mean, I organize mentoring events that Mariah has been at. Do you understand? How did Moriah know me? He knew me more for my music, mm. but I'm not using that music as a leverage to do other things. Mm. Yes. So, and that's, that's the space that a lot of our, you know, young people must. So all this stuff about, you know, God, God you know, called, called me. me. Well, I mean, I'm not disputing that, but you I work with God for a bit too. Um, <laughs> you go hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah hungry. you go hungry. <laughs> right. 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 What of the people who believe that that's their calling and they're not ready to do anything else. Do anything else. I, I, my brother, for instance, yes. when he started music, nobody wanted to listen to him. Yes. He was just, and he had his father who was larger than life. Yes. But he said that was what he wanted to do, that was what he knew, that, that is what he trained us, and he continued. Yes. To, today, that is what he eats from. So I think that telling them that you, you, you need to. Yeah, but secular is different from gospel. It's different from gospel. No, even. It, even that's true. Yeah, no, so, so, so actually, let me see. Even, even let's, look, let's look at secular. You see, you have to look at, um, let's take Uncle Femi, for instance, his exposure, even, even Fela, right? Their exposure. You see, you can be doing music and be so close-minded. Minded. Mm. But these guys, so out of Africa, or let's say out of Nigeria, who's the, who's the biggest brand in terms of music? Without, I mean, it's Fela. Mm. Do you understand? There was a global perception to his music. But a, lot, a whole lot of our guys are still close-minded and they're just doing stuff, you know. They're still in one hub. Yeah, they're, they're still in one hub. Mm, yeah. So you have to really be open-minded about this thing. Talking about open-mindedness, you know? uh, one of my major concerns is, is like people don't spend time to write songs. Mm. You just take the maybe one sentence beat. and repeat it and the beat and you know yeah. you know you don't see so the, you, you see some you hear some music from mm. you Sinat, you know where you feel like somebody actually read the Bible and they actually got to Rema <laughs> and they're actually singing so right, some you know somebody actually because these songs go by I mean they, yeah. they, it, and some will just sing and just like hey you just yeah. like, and we'll be dancing those are ones who make a lot of noise yeah. but is it is there a gap is there a problem the fact that people are not writing songs anymore. People are writing songs that trend. Let me give you yeah. an example. And this is many years ago. Somebody said, 
ah, that all these deep songs they are writing, they are writing. People in the bus, they want to be just not in their head. Yeah. You know? mm. So, again, the truth of the matter is that for us, I think it's an educational thing. Let's go back to the way we're educated in Nigeria. We're not educated to understand. We're crammed to pass. Yes. Mm. <laughs> mm. We're crammed to pass. And that's going to affect even the way, you know, mm. we, 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 do other we, we do other things. Mm. It's going to affect the way we write. So we, a lot of times people write, you know, to what, what's the latest trending Slime. music beats. beat. And then we write to fit that. Mm. But that is just a trend. And like I always say, trend will, trends will always end. So mm -hmm. is it the problem of the songwriter or is it the problem of the listener? Because you should, many people would say you would sell a yeah, market. The market. But like if you are market. making deep, deep yeah. scripts, um, deep lyrics. Right. No, both, of them, both of them will feed off each other. So you, I mean, you that you're writing mm -hmm. songs that are really deep, you'll probably be there a longer period yeah. than somebody that is just writing to trends. So and you may not you make be it a flash, on Yeah, on you may be a flash in the pan. Mm. Mm -hmm. As quickly as possible, but yeah. you will be there. Yeah. You see, you have to understand. I, 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 there's a difference between trending and being relevant. Mm. Mm. You can be relevant there for a long time. Mm. Yeah. An example I give is let's take someone like Steve Wonder. He may not be on top of the charts. A lot of people do music because they want to be on top of the charts. But if Steve Wonder goes to do it and says, I want to do a show in O2 in 2025, sold out. I can bet you it's going to be sold out. That's very good. Meanwhile, he's not on top of the charts. Yeah. All right, let me go on a quick break. When we come yeah. back, we'll talk about the Green Worship concert. Stay with Thank us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. As an advocate for child education and female empowerment, I believe every child deserves an education. As a father of a set of uh, twin girls, uh, I advocate for social justice and a more inclusive society. So join us as we celebrate and encourage child education in Nigeria. With the maiden edition of the TVC Female Championship Debate. I'll be your host, Mariah Afolabi Brown. I'm Oscar Oinson, your host. Look forward to meeting you there as well. The TVC Female Debate Championship encouraging young Nigerian girls to speak up for nation building. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award winning 24 hour national and international news. I really wanted to ask you about green worship, but you see, when I heard the song, it just spoke to me like, you know, you've, you've been serving God for so long, mm. for so many years. Have you ever, I don't want to say has God let you down, but as you, <laughs> has he, has, have you just felt that sometimes it's just not clicking or something happens and you're thinking, why? Like as, as, as a Christian, no, it's not right. like, like, why is this happening? To why me. should this happen to this? Because I have served 
mm. this God so mm. much. Why should this happen to me? Has that ever happened to you? All right, most definitely. Um, till tomorrow. I, I think, I think the, the safety net is you have to come to a point in your life where you, you have this irreversible decision that, look, there is God. I believe in God. So no matter there what happens, mm. right? No matter what happens, rain, rainfall, sunshine, sunshine. I'm still going to go back to God. Mm. So, um, yeah. Mm. Uh, so that, I need to ask you, good. because, sorry, it's Jerry. <laughs> it's fine. The, so that, that's all. Today, you know me, I'm not, a, I'm not one of right, you people, right, but yeah. you, I know yeah. because yeah. I have been to yeah. church. Yes. Oh, you have? <laughs> and so that song is yes. very popular. Yes. There is no... Say, I sing it, sing it for Say, me. Today, oh, I will lift up my heart in prayer. So you know the song. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's finish now. Let's finish. That's that's finish. That's yeah. 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 No matter now. what they say. Yeah. No matter what they do. <laughs> I will I will pray. Yeah. 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 So that song is really, really, really... There is no church you go that they don't right. sing it. Mm. Yeah. So should I tell you the story behind the song? Yes, please. please. Give, it, give it to us. So now, first of all, the words of the songs have been changed. It says, today, oh, I lift up my voice in praise, for I know that you are always there for me. Almighty God, you're my all in all, no matter what I face. Mm. When troubles come my way, I will praise yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. The one now, your husband and I grew up on campus. Yes. Of course, more you know to me. Um, our house got burnt on campus, University of Ife. Mm. Mm. So I, I was a... Second year student then in university. My parents worked on campus. I went for my lectures in the morning, seven o'clock, came back at nine o'clock, and our house was completely burnt down. Jesus. Lost everything. The only thing we had left, that, I, that we had left was what we were wearing, and the cars my parents drove to work. Ah. So at that point in time, no one was a Christian. I mean, we were into jazz. You want to be no worry. Anyway, so a year after I got born again, and really this song is just a vow mm. saying to God that, look, no matter, no matter what. what I face, I will praise you, Lord. Mm. That also answers your question. So did you get money for that song? Mm. Did I get money for that? Oh, did I you get money? Was... Because they are singing it everywhere. Mm. Realities. So, again, that's, that's what, what I'm saying, song. you know. That, was, that song was written in a time where... I mean, if that song was written today and it is as notorious as it is to... I mean, I mean de most definitely. But I can't say that I haven't been remunerated for it because you get invited on account of that song. That's probably the, the song that I'm most known for, so... There are so many of them. Forget that one. There's so many songs. Let me hear. There's so many When it comes to mind, I'll have you. You are not worthy, love. That's worship. Once you pray to Christ, you start singing in church. Those are the songs you start with. But there's something, like, when I listen to your song, I felt a certain way. And I realized that Songs that last in gospel are very simple. Not complicated songs, though. Right. Simple, that touches the core of worship. Right. So, for instance, when I got into the gospel industry, I wanted to rap, mm. not sing this simple. And right. I had the issues where churches were not even understanding. What mm. is this one? Kilele, <laughs> what is this one saying? And all that, bouncing yeah, up and down. Clear, but... I'm saying, I'm, I'm learning. Uh, oh, you, you know, know and so it, 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 okay. so it became like, uh, this industry, are you sure I'm in the right industry? Mm. Not because I wasn't connected to God, but because I felt the sort of music I really wanted to do mm may not really fly in this sort this of industry. Time, yeah. And I was just telling you now that if I had met you, probably mm. you may have told me, why don't you just sing simple, yeah, just sing it simple. Mm. Mm. Does it mean that for you to thrive in the gospel industry, it has to be worship? No. I think everybody needs to understand his personality. Mm -hmm. So let's take mm -hmm. someone like Kirk Franklin. You probably know who Kirk Franklin yeah, is. Let's take someone like Don Wen. They're two different personalities. Mm. Yes. I mean, you can imagine Kirk Franklin trying to be like Don, Don, Don Wen. I mean, everybody's going to be like, hello. Mm. Did, 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 did you sleep well tonight? So, mm. <laughs> so let's talk um, about the green worship. Yeah, 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 green worship. Because it's time. Question. Time is almost up. <laughs> green worship, we'll talk about it one minute. Too. Yes. But this one, what do you think of very religious people who don't have integrity? Like the person we're talking about before the show. <laughs> the person very religious. He's religious. Ah, He's religious. Very religious. I think he might even be a pastor of us. Okay, that's true. He quotes Bible, though. He always ah. talks about God. So, because yeah. they, they will quote the Bible and they don't have integrity. What do you say about people like that? Um, what do I say about people like that? I think that's why you have all this opera anyway. Because mm. um, if, if, uh, if you have integrity, you wouldn't have this opera. You know, you wouldn't have this opera. If you're a man of your word, everybody will know that you're a man of your word. Mm. You know, so that's, 
that's 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 what okay, I'm saying. Okay, so that's about green worship. That. What's, what's, what's green, green worship about? Worship? And so that we yeah, so green worship is a benefit concert um, that helps to raise awareness and support for charities that care for orphans, children with special needs, and vulnerable children. Wow. And we've been doing that for since 2006 under the name of Worship for Change. So green worship is an initiative of Worship for Change. And we've raised about 60 million naira. You wow. know, yeah. Um, so we just, once we did, like last year, we raised 7.5 million naira. And we actually targeted um, six charities, like Leprosy Mission um, and, and a couple and of you other. give them the money. Yeah, we give them the money. And, and, and the amazing thing is, you know, um, so let's take a charity like Leprosy Mission. They got 1.25 million naira last year. And I was amazed at what 1.25 million naira could, could do. do. They mm. actually took 200 kids in a school in Yangoji, near Abuja. They got school uniforms, they got shoes, they got books, and they got a backpack. Well, I mean, look, without 1.25 million naira does not even pay my daughter's school fees. Mm. Mm. So, I mean, and that's what people free time away on a weekend. Yeah. Mm. You know, so... Um, the free time, 1.25? Yes, now. Yeah. I so mean, people... Clubs. 1.25. You need to review the price of shine. You need to review your price of shine. It's too cheap. Ah, the price of our beer. Yeah, you need to No, but people yeah. spray bills of yeah. 1 million now. Yeah. Yes, now. So, what is it's the aim for Green Worship this Jesus. year? What's the target? Right, so we have four charities we are working with this year. The Farid Centre in Mina. Um, uh, leprosy mission again. Irede Foundation, they provide prosthetics. Oh, Irede, yeah. we know Irede. Yeah. Yeah. Irede has yeah. been here several times. Crystal Chibu, yeah. And um, what's the fourth one? <laughs> I'm trying okay. to remember okay. the, the, the fourth charity. So we want to raise 100 million this year. Wow. Uh, okay. that, that is our target. And it's showing on, on, on DSTV, it's showing on all our social media handles, um, on YouTube, on Facebook and Instagram, at Green Worship, so you can actually follow right now. Mm -hmm. And so we have great artists, Matt Redman, who wrote 10,000 Reasons. Um, I'm coming back to the heart of worship. Nathan Abasi, mm -hmm. Falab, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. Falabi Noel, Lao Lugwenjo. Lots of artists on this. So we would worship, but our, our aim is that, look, Worship is not just something that should go vertically. It should also affect us horizontally. Mm -hmm. So as we watch, we would also share stories of all of these people. And we expect that people will join in and help us make a difference in life. I've been to them. one of your concerts before. Mm -hmm. And I think you were very selective with the kind of people that were on stage. I didn't see all the... I really worshipped. Like, right. the, the place was charged. Mm -hmm. And I felt that ah, this one is different, though. Presence of God so is here. So how do you choose? I mean, is, is, it, is it intentional? Or it just so happens that wizard really was spiritual? No, it's, it's, it's intentional. Um, mm. First of all, the people, all the artists on this bill, you will not believe, are not charging a penny. Are not charging one cobble. So they're all doing it for free. Mm. So you first of all have to find those kind of people who can do that. And if, even the entire program is designed. Of course, there's, there's fast-paced music and all of that. But like you said, I mean, it must be rich. The content must be godly and must inspire people to worship. Yeah. All right. So we have to wrap up. So at Green Worship, right? And it's next at week Green Friday. Worship. Sorry. When is it next week Friday? No, Saturday. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, sure. Tomorrow. 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 I thought it was next week. Tomorrow, tomorrow. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah, so, 5 so we can watch it live. Yeah. Watch Fantastic. It live. Yeah. Well While watching yeah. donations can come. Yeah. Out. There'll it's be amazing. there'll be instructions on how to give. Okay. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure having awesome. you on the show. Thank you so right, much. I know you want to have your last word on Fanny Kayode because this thing is keeping <laughs> you. We have to wrap up. No, I, I'm not seeing, you know, because I had to Google how <laughs> the, the father apparently betrayed the, the Western, according oh, to why the Western you, say, why, you know what? Yeah, I'll give you time <laughs> to go and do a research on FFK. Come back next week and tell what you found on FFK and the entire generation. I will discuss it. Let me go. Let, we have to wrap up, but um, we're going to laugh with the, with your one of your songs. You know, at least yes, to start off the weekend. Mm. So that's all we can take on the show. Let's watch this. Uh, I know. Wow. Your love is there for me. Wow. How would you get to the, get up and wash it? How would you do this? Get up. Get up. I have to catch me. My love. When I wake up, I know.